my name is Aidy, and today I'm going to teach you my under and over alternate picking exercise. <laughs> Now, if you're new to my channel and you are learning guitar, please check out some of my videos and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to talk about alternate picking, in particular an exercise that I quite like, that really works on the uh, the sort of the, the outside the string picking, uh, moving both under and over adjacent strings. Now let's get straight into the exercise. Um, this really works if you break the exercise apart and uh, build up in stages, that way you can build yourself a nice little picking routine uh, and you can also apply this to any other uh, pattern based uh, exercises that you're doing. Now we're going to utilise the three note pair string uh, scale for this particular pattern. Uh, if you don't know it, I'll put a picture up in the corner. Uh, but basically, if we use the first position of G major, you get the third fret, fifth, seventh, three, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. And we're going to utilize those notes for this exercise. Now, the exercise uh, works uh, using a triplet feel. And we're going to play lots of ascending triplets. Uh, are working our way through this scale shape. Uh, and first of all, we're going to look at a single repetition of the of the whole pattern. And the pattern is one bar long. Okay. Now, what will really help is if you're using a metronome, uh, and you also find it really helpful if your metronome has an accent on the first beat. And you'll see why when we go through it. So let's have a look at the exercise. Uh, we we'll start off on our E string. We're going to ascend a triplet. Counted as one triplet. You're going to reach to the A string, and you're going to ascend a triplet on the A string. Two triplet. Okay, so so far we have one triplet, two triplet. Ensuring that we're alternate picking this, so you're always moving your pit down, up, down, up, down, up. Which means on this first uh, string change, we have an upstroke uh, on the string change. You'd be down, up, down, up, reaching around, giving that outside the string motion. Uh, we're then going to play another triplet on the same string. So this will be our third triplet. Three triplet. And then reach down to our D string, again using an upstroke. Uh, and playing the rest of the triplet here. So that'll be four triplet. So you get a whole bar of triplets there, just ascending on each string uh, like this. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then to finish it off, whilst that's the whole bar gone, uh, we're now going to just slightly amend this so that we can use it as a repetitive pattern. I'd like you just to play one note back on your A string with a downstroke, and that's back on the third fret. So what you get is this in total. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, two, three, four. Which is how the metronome will sound, obviously, without the numbers, but with, with beeps. Um, and that gives you a nice repetitive pattern that you can play. So you get this. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now what I'd like to do is give it a slight twist so that you can repeat it uh, with, with a little bit more uh, momentum. And I'd like you to do that first of all, do, do two uh, repetitions with the stop. And the third time, I want you to do something slightly different. Okay, I'm going to play through what I'd like to do the exercise. Uh, and instead of going back to the A string, what I want you to do, instead of stopping there, I'd like you to go right back to the start uh, and continue uh, through the pattern and repeat it a couple of times. So basically, you'd end up with this. Okay, uh, and, and you repeat it from there. So the whole thing. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So you see all we've done is we've done a couple of plain repetitions with, with a break, and then we've we've gone into a, a full repetition where we repeat it uh, two, three times uh, uh, without stopping and then stopping right at the end. And that gives you a nice little uh, exercise that you can work with a metronome. Now, to give you an idea of the metronome on that, I'm banking on this being picked up by my uh, microphone. Uh, but it'll sound like this. So, my metronome's on 140 at the moment with a slightly weak battery, but we should still hear it. Okay. 
I think that's just about coming through it. So you can hear the um, the accent on on the first beat. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Boom, 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 boom. I can't count that quick, but um, we'll see if we can play it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And that's how it fits in the metronome. So that's the basic pattern. Now what we want to do is we want to extend that to make it more interesting and build it into a full routine. Um, so what I'd recommend doing is doing that a couple of times uh, in that particular position and then extending it throughout the rest of the position. Okay, and to extend it throughout the rest of, of the position, all we're going to do is just drop it down a string. Okay, so the first uh, pattern we had started on the E string. I'm now going to do exactly the same idea but start on the A string and you'd get this. So exactly the same pick and pattern, just bring everything down a string uh, and of course follow the rules of, of the scale pattern. And we do exactly the same thing on this one. gives you the pattern and just move that down each each particular string i think i made a mistake all then but i'll get away with it um, but take it down a string and just repeat the the phrase the the, the exercise a few times uh working down a string at a time and that will give you a, a nice little pattern to work up in terms of a routine now when you're happy doing that and you can play each individual uh, pattern across the strings you're then ready to extend the pattern out across six strings and to do that is very easy because we've already worked on the motions it's just a case of not taking a break so the difference is when you do it now with all six strings you'll play your first pattern but rather than just stopping back on that A string you just use that at the start of the next exercise And now it'll take you across the whole six strings. Now don't put breaks in it like I did then, that was just to, to show you where, where the, the, the change of patterns are. I'm playing the whole thing. We'll give you that in total. And that's a nice six, uh, six string alternate picking pattern that you can use uh, and put it in, in combination with the smaller patterns. Uh, so in terms of building that into a routine, you're better off doing the smaller patterns, uh, going around them three or four times perhaps, and then moving down a string and doing the same on the next set of strings. And then once you've gone through them all, you can then start work through the whole six string pattern uh, and play through that a few times as well. And that gives you a, give you a decent uh, a little practice uh, routine out of that. You should get a good sort of five to ten minutes out of that if, if you really work on it in good detail. Now, the great thing about this kind of stuff is that you can extend it uh, across the fretboard in different ways uh, to really build on it uh, and, and get yourself used to playing in different places uh, without necessarily having lots of, of you know, pieces of paper with loads of tabs on it because the principle is always the same. So one way you can do it is by simply just taking the next uh, scale pattern. So if I move into the second position using this three-net for string system. <laughs> You can do it like that, and you can also work in all the sort of mini sets of strings within that position. Or equally, you can work horizontally uh, and just slightly change things up. So if I do a, a two-string pattern, uh, so let's go back to the first string to start with. Rather than jumping up a string after this, you can just move across into the next position. So you get this. And then I'm in, in the next position. You can work across the strings. So I'm going to take it back to make it a bit longer. And you can work horizontally across across each each couple of groups of strings. Uh, and again, extend your patterns all the way across the guitar.
So it's one basic pattern that we'll look at here, uh, and it's really exercising that outside the string picking motion, which is what really what makes it alternate picking. Uh, we're, we're using an under and an over pattern. Okay, so, so the under pattern comes where you reach down from a thicker string, reaching over past the string beneath it and coming upwards on it. Uh, and when we, we get right to the end of the pattern, that's when we do the over motion. So my last triplet, finish it on that stroke, then I come over the string above it to do a down stroke. So you're always uh, reaching around the string on the string change, just exercising that, that alternate outside the string picking motion. Okay, so that's the whole lesson. That's the exercise. Uh, play it at your own pace. Use the metronome. It's really important. You need to get used to feeling triplets here. Uh, and also make sure you're staying in time with the beat at all times. Having that accent on beat one really, really helps because the, the, the pattern is, is one uh, one whole bar long. So it means you'll be nice and tight if, you, if you're using the accent on your metronome. Uh, in terms of what pace to play it at, it needs to be something you're comfortable at. So prerequisite, you really do need to know the scale shapes. Uh, if you don't know the notes, then you're going to struggle, uh, and that might affect your, your techniques, so make sure you really do know those notes. Uh, but play at a, a slow tempo to start with. I don't mean 30 BPM, perhaps do 70 or 80, find something comfortable around that kind of zone, and then when you are comfortable, you can pump it up a bit. Um, but increment it at decent increments, don't do it like 2, two BPM, you know, stick up 10, 15, 20, uh, and push yourself until you're comfortable. I'll stop that there. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to check out my other videos. Uh, click on that subscribe button. Please like and leave a comment, all that kind of jazz. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Take care for now.